Gustav Selmans April 1, 1899 in Riga, April 10, 1968, was a Latvian politician, who was the founder of the Perkonkrusts Latvian pronunciation, p Crusts, Thunder Cross. Biography <inaudible> 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 He was educated at the Commerce School of the Riga Stock Exchange, and graduated in Moscow. In 1917, he began studies at the Riga Polytechnical Institute which had been evacuated to Moscow. After the October Revolution, he returned to Latvia. In 1918, Selmans enlisted into the newly created Latvian army, and was promoted to lieutenant the following year, and was then appointed Latvian military attaché in Poland. In 1921, he was awarded the Order of Lakplesis. Retired from army in 1924, he worked in the Ministry of Foreign Affairs from 1925 to 1927. Selmans became the Secretary of Minister of Foreign Affairs, and subsequently worked in the Finance Ministry. On 24 January 1932, the Latvian nationalist group Jugundskrusts was founded, and Gustav Selmans was elected as its leader. After Jugundskrusts was banned, he founded the organization per Konkrusts, Thundercross. Common for both organizations was that they advocated a national revolution for a radical reorganization of society, politics, and the economy in Latvia. Following Carlos Ulmanis's 15 May 1934 coup d'état, Selmans was arrested and imprisoned for three years. He was exiled from Latvia in 1937. Selmans moved to Italy, then Switzerland. While in Zurich, he was arrested and then banished from Switzerland. He later lived in Romania, where he had contacts with the Iron Guard, and then moved to Finland. In 1938, he became the leader of Perkonkrust's Foreign Contacts Office. After the Soviet Union invaded Finland, Selmans enrolled as a volunteer on the latter's side. When the conflict ended, he moved to Nazi Germany. In July 1941, after Operation Barbarossa, he, together with Nazi officials, returned to Latvia and regained leadership of Perkonkrusts. After the occupation authorities once again banned Perkonkrusts in August 1941, Selmans continued his outward collaboration with the Germans in the hopes that sizable Latvian military formations would be created. From February 1942, he headed the Committee for Organizing Latvian Volunteers Latvian, Latviazu Brivpratigo Organizatius Komitea, the main function of which was the recruitment of Latvian men for the Latvian Auxiliary Police Battalions, known in German as Schutzmannschaften or simply Schuma. Aside from frontline combat duties, these battalions were also deployed in anti-partisan operations Latvia and Belarus that included the massacres of rural Jews and other civilians. This situation was not what Selmans had hoped for, and so he began to sabotage the recruitment efforts. Because of this, he was later transferred to a job as a minor clerk within the occupation administration. Per Conkrust's members working within the SD apparatus in occupied Latvia would feed Selmans information, some of which he would include in his underground, anti-German publication Breva Latvija. This eventually led to Selmans and his associates being arrested by the Gestapo in 1944, with Selmans ending up imprisoned in Flossenburg concentration camp. In late April 1945, he was, together with other prominent concentration camp inmates, transferred to Tyrol where the SS left the prisoners behind. He was liberated by the 5th U.S. Army on 5 May 1945. After World War II, he lived in Italy, where he published the newspaper Breva Latvija. In 1947 he published the autobiographic book Europa's Crustcellos, at the crossroads of Europe. In 1949 he emigrated to the United States. From 1950 to 1952 he was an instructor at Syracuse University's Armed Forces School in New York State, and beginning in 1951 he was also the director of the Foreign Language Program for the U.S. Air Force, and a television lecturer about the USSR and communism. From 1954 to 1956 he worked as a manufacturer in Mexico. Between 1956 and 1958 he was a librarian at Trinity University in San Antonio, Texas. In 1959 he became a professor of Russian studies at St. Mary's University in San Antonio, Texas. He died on April 10, 1968 in San Antonio, Texas. Topic. Quotes 
In a Latvian Latvia the question of minorities will not exist. This means that once and for all we renounce unreservedly bourgeois liberal prejudice on the national question, we renounce historical, humanistic, or other constraints in pursuit of our one true aim—the good of the Latvian nation. Our God, our belief, our life's meaning, our goal is the Latvian nation, whoever is against its welfare is our enemy. We assume that the only place in the world where Latvians can settle is Latvia. Other peoples have their own countries. In one word, in a Latvian Latvia there will only be Latvians. See also Igor Siskins Bibliography Selmans, Gustavs Europa's Krustcellos in Latvian. Esslingen, Gentarzame. OCLC 4511464. Selmans, Gustavs The 17th of September 1933. A Latvian Latvia. In Roger Griffin, ed. Fascism. Oxford Readers. Oxford, Oxford University Press. pp. 217-8. ISBN 0-19-289249-5. OCLC 31606309. CS1 maint, Extra Text, Editor's List link.